reinstalling this brand new steering gear for my dad's 51 Chevy. And uh, hopefully it doesn't take too long. And what this should do is help with the play in the steering wheel. Right now it's about, I would say, a quarter of a turn. All right, so on the truck, it's got about that much play in it. Which, I mean, isn't too bad if you think about the age of the truck. Super scary. It could have been a bad day. <laughs> this is all your very steering. Very bad day. Yeah, so we went to go and loosen it up, and uh, the nut was already loosened. And that's not gonna fit. Fucking me. Supposed to have a uh, Pitman arm remover. That's a tool I do not have. This is where that old adage. Right tool for the right job might come into play. The jobs yeah. usually go a lot easier when you have the right tool for it. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Did it just barely fall out? Yeah, maybe warming it up with that hammer helped out. <laughs> <laughs> significant play the bushings out the seals bad all the seals are bad the gears are probably chewed up yeah so with this new one this is brand new a little tidbit information they use that same gearbox yeah from uh 67 all the way up into the late 80s really yeah on any truck with a manual steering yeah that's the same that, gearbox. The same box same yeah. exact box that is interesting <laughs> This has got a 32 spline shaft. This one's a 36 spline shaft, which <coughs> I guess not doing enough research. I thought I was buying the same gearbox, but apparently they had two different shaft splines. Yeah. So now I have to get a new universal joint. Which well, that shouldn't be too work. expensive, I don't think. But. Still, nah, just 30, 40 bucks. if it would have fit on, we could have got this done today. Yeah. You know, so yeah. to be continued. So, well, the video will probably start back up as soon as we find the piece. So, see you then. This is about three weeks since I started filming the other half of the video. My dad finally got the universal joint in, which is that silver part right there. It's all brand new. What happened was is that the splines on the new steering box uh, were the wrong, not size, but it had too many splines on it. So we had to get a universal joint that fit the splines on there. And so my dad put that in told him not to wait for me since uh, it's just a simple job to do. But basically we got the new steering box in and it did its job and now there's less play in the steering wheel. So I don't know how much you can tell from here. I mean, there's still gonna be play in it, but it's a lot less than before. My dad also, uh, under this cap, these bolts, he tightened up the steering wheel itself so that doesn't have play in there either. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go take it out for a ride because I haven't driven it yet with this new steering box. So I wanna see how it feels. 
All right, so I don't know how well y'all are gonna be able to hear me just because the truck's so loud and also it has no AC, so I gotta roll with the windows down. Actually, where's the lever? Well, basically, I mean, my first initial thoughts on the new gearbox is it feels like there's definitely less play. I mean, there's still play there, so it's kind of hard to tell how much it uh, fixed. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it definitely did quite a bit. It seems more uh, sturdy, if that makes any sense. Like, you're more, uh, definitely feel like you have more control with the truck. steering radius on this thing isn't too bad but the ratio on the wheel this from the steering wheel all the way to the wheels is outrageous just because it's a, a manual steering so it's a no power steering and it's I don't know how many turns it is to go to full lockout but it's uh, pretty ridiculous so you got to turn it quite a bit just to go anywhere It's a little bit smoother, so hopefully I can get a little better feel. And yeah, I mean, you can definitely see, especially through the GoPro, because of the wide angle lens. And there's still quite a bit of play. Definitely not near as much as it used to be. Brakes still need to be worked on, though. They're kind of a little, still a little hard to push. If you need them to lock up, you can definitely get it there. Yeah, so I would say for the price on the new steering box and uh, or the gearbox, whatever it's called, and uh, just tightening up these the nuts on the, uh, the steering wheel, yeah, it's definitely not moving anymore. It's definitely helped quite a bit, making it more drivable. Because I remember the first time I rode in this thing, driving it, it was pretty sketchy. Now it's more realistic, if that makes any sense. So that's basically just going to finish up the video of the truck. I'm sorry, all it is is just the uh, steering box. Uh, nothing else too spectacular. I do have future plans for my truck as far as videos go. Uh, I just got to find the time and the money uh, for the videos. But yeah, so I would say uh, this quick little fix, I mean, even though it took a few weeks for that one part to get in, uh, we would have got it done in an hour, uh, hour or two. Um, if we actually tried to get it done quick, probably 30 minutes, all you are doing is just replacing the steering box and that's it. It's not too hard. And it fixes your uh, play on the steering. Obviously not 100% because there's more variables in that, but it does knock it down quite a bit. So that's pretty much going to finish up the video. If you like it, hit that like button. And if you enjoy the channel, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you all next video.